Um, yes, that one. there yes this should work okay that's that and now this one there we go that is done as well now that one and this one and here we go well, that should work. R2 Heroes, what is that? Oh, I got some flags. This is this is always nice. You know, I'm, I'm grinding, or at least trying to grind, the uh, Tier 7 Cruisers I have at the moment. I've got several of those. Um, let's, let's just select those, you know, here. Tier 7 cruisers. We got a few uh, premium ones. Um, those are not the ones I'm, I'm looking at at the moment. Uh, so you've got the Ashigara and the Haguro, which are um, arpeggio of steel ships. Nice ships. Um, completely identical to the Miyoko. But I'm not going to play those. I'm going to cr grind these ships for uh, experience. Got the Pensacola here as well, the York and the Fiji, and of course I've got the Belfast, which is a great premium cruiser, the Indianapolis, and the Atlanta. So I got four premium and four non-premium. But um, if I'm talking about grinding the ships, I'm going to grind the um, the regular ships. Play two battles. I should be able to get that. Damage 25 ship modules must be completed in a random co op or ranked battle, and then I'll get a few more flags. That's good. Destroy seven cruisers, hit the citadels of ships 15 times, it must be completed in a random co op or ranked battle. You should be able to do that as well. In one battle, jo uh, join the top three in your team by experience received. Cause 15,000 hit points of damage to ships by setting fire. That's not too hard. And the last one. Ooh, that's a nice one. In one battle, earn 1800 base experience. And what do you get for a total? Battle hardened. Ooh. I might be I might be aiming for that. Um, happy birthday, World of Warships. To celebrate, we've prepared a, f a few fun activities as well as rewards for the most experienced commanders among our players. Check out the news section for details on the birthday collection. Birthday collection. News. Since there's one, one premium ship I still don't have. And I sort, sort of kind of need, it, need that. Um, let's see, new. Well, that, that doesn't really change a lot. Battle of Zanzibar, yes. Got this one. Uh, winners. Well, I'm not one of those, of course. Wolves of the Sea. We've bundled some of Germans' finest. Okay, well that's all nice, but I got the tier 7 
uh, battleship. I don't have the tier 7 destroyer though, but I do have the tier 7 battleship and the tier 7 cruiser. And I'm pretty far from getting the tier 7 destroyer, so that's nice, but not for me. Iron Eagles, th this is quite an old message, right? No, it's not. Operation Sea Lion. <laughs> Discounts on the balloon to credit conversion. Discount on the commander training or retraining. Well, that's that's nice, but not really. Marathon. I don't really see anything here. You know what? Mark as red all of it because I I don't really see the. Um, the birthday thing in here. Yeah, well, here it is, but it's not really. My achievements, special achievements in a new collection. Is that it? Specifically for the purpose of the second anniversary, we've put together all the significant events that happened during this year and created a set of unique achievements and new collection relating to them. Of course, these events triggered various emotions among both the developers and the players. Some caused very important game changes and provided proof to be a success from the beginning while others need to be revised and reworked. Okay, yeah, well, nice collections, collections. Mm. For completing each of the four sub-collections, you'll be rewarded with a unique permanent camouflage that can be mounted on the following tier eight ships, Kiev, Charles Martel, Z23 or New Orleans. Hmm. For completing the entire anniversary collection, you will receive an achievement, a flag, and a permanent camouflage that can be mounted on the British battleship Monarch. Oh well, that's not bad. All camouflages have the same bonus: 50% commander XP, 50% free XP. Oh, I might need that. From 15 September, that's tomorrow, to 8 September, and get one day of premium account and 25 World of Warships anniversary consumable camouflages. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to get that, but uh, that's not going to be now. Play at least one battle on any tier 1 to 9 ship starting from 14th of September, that's now, till 28th to get delicious bonuses on your account. All players who have played a thousand or more battles, that's me. In World of Warships will re receive 10 World of Warships Anniversary cam Consumable Camouflages, that's a big mouthful, and 10 of each special signal flag, Blue Dragon, Wyvern, Red Dragon, ooh, I need those. There's still more to come. Play one battle with the Tier 10 ship, I don't have that, I don't have a Tier 10 yet, and get a Super Container as a bonus. Super Container can be earned once per ship. However, players can complete, complete the task and earn the reward on each tier 10 ship you have. Yep. Okay. Oh, you can buy anniversary containers. Well, sure, why not? Well, it all looks nice, but it's it's not something I'm, I'm looking for at the moment. I'm just going to play the uh, tier 7 cruisers. I would really like to get the um, the tier 8 German cruiser, since I already have the tier 8 premium German cruiser. I can play those, um, you know, and, and switch between the two of them. Keep on doing that, and that might actually work really well. Um, we'll have to see. Fiji. I'm pretty far in with the Fiji. As you can see, I'm at 58,000 experience, so I only need about 50,000. I'm not going to spend any of my free experience since I'm saving for another tier 7. Here, the Nelson 
which is a premium ship you can get for 375,000 free experience and one credit. So I'm going to save my free experience to get this beast at some point. I'm really fond of this ship. I'm, I've been fond of this ship since I was 12, so um, the opportunity to own it in this game is really something I'm going to aim for at some point. Anyway, um, that's why I, you see me uh, flying this camouflage, uh, because this camouflage, I still have a lot of it, by the way. At least I think so. Yes, well, uh, 36 only. I used to have uh, about 100. <coughs> Sorry about that. I used to have over 100, um, but these gave a free experience bonus. Uh, well, these flags do as well, so I'm going to mount that. Yes, mount. Hmm. Not, I don't really have to mount any other flag. I'm going to mount it on this ship as well. I'm just going to make sure I have one of these flags on every single tier 7 cruiser I'm going to play. Okay. So let's start with the York, I think. No, tier 8 battle, not bad. Hmm. I really have to do something about my webcam. I either have to move it a little this way so I get more centered, or I have to zoom out. But I think it's going to be okay like this. I don't see any background uh, around my head, which is good. I'm actually one of those people that likes the York. There's a lot of people that don't like the York, but I do. Let's see. I was afraid something like that was going to happen. Uh, let's see. Follower, goal, no. Announcements, announcements, that one. Let's move that up here. That's better. Okay. Enemy force detected. Well, they're, they're still out of range. Hmm, Otago. I actually hit. I didn't actually expect that because you know I couldn't see where that ship was sailing because of the uh, the island that was in the way. It's annoying islands always getting in the way of my shots.
So I wasn't expecting to hit anything, but then I did. Ooh, that, that French cruiser over there, La Galicionaire, is going to feel the wrath. There's a Harikaze here in Amagi, Cleveland, Queen Elizabeth. That's going to be... I wouldn't be surprised if he was going to be the first one that's going to be killed. See, there it started. He's losing hit points already. And of course he's going to try to get out of there, but he might actually be too late to do that. Firing armor piercing. Um, but I don't see my shells. Ah, there they are. Well, I don't think I'm going to hit anything. Well, I've hit one. That's nice. Ouch. Nagato hit me pretty well. Well, that was that. The Otago is going to be the next target, of course. I was, however, right with my prediction that that was going to be the first ship that's going to be killed. So now let's try to get take care of the Otago. Ooh. I have to go a little quicker. Nope, 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 nope. That was a mistake. Instead of going quicker, I should have slowed down. Well, you know, it always takes a few games to get um, reacquainted with this game. And if it doesn't, well, I'll, I'll just use the excuse, you know. Good. At least I did something that was uh, useful, to put it that way. I'm switching to high explosive so I can uh, start peppering the North Carolina with it and hopefully start a fire. Looks like my shots might land on the target. Yes, they actually do. 
Didn't start a fire though. Well, that could uh, still be a possibility. Yes, there we go. Two fires actually. Not bad. That's nice. Actually, got a second kill. I think they're all going for the Queen Elizabeth, but they might come this way as well. No, they're not. Well, I think I'm doing sort of okay for uh, the amount of hit points I still have, which is not a lot. Ooh, Z23. That was close. With those torps there, he could actually kill the uh, Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth is turning a little late. Here we go. Well, he dodged all the torpedoes. Nice. Good work by him. Ooh, the three ships aiming at me. That was that. Some of my shells are still in the in the air though. It could be that I get a little more. No, that was it. They just landed in the water behind the uh, Takao, who was sailing a lot faster than I thought it would. So it didn't do a lot of damage, but at least I got two kills, which is not bad. And um, for first game, nah. Not really satisfied before first game in a uh, long time. Um, but also, since I. Uh, well, I haven't been awake that long. Howdy, Mr. DRV and Wolf. Driven Wolf? Something like that, probably. Let's see, let's continue with the Fiji. That's a, um, a harder ship. Well, York, not easiest cruiser to play. <laughs> nope, but somehow I like it. But I either have really bad or really good games. There's, there's nothing in between. There's no reasonably well games, if you get what I mean. Um, though this one might have been one of those. York is, um, I've, I've actually had games in York with uh, over 150,000 uh, damage done, so I could have done better. But then again, you know, I'm, I'm not one of those players that can perform really well without my team actually doing something as well. And uh, the team, I'm not, not going to blame the team, but the team wasn't as good as uh, I needed it to be to shine myself, if you get what I mean. Um, let's see, where should I go? I think I'm going to go to D. Here, guys, look about.
since there's uh, some big islands that I can hide behind and um, see what I can do. I grounded out of it before they changed the HE. Yeah. Well, I do have the Prince Eugen, so the. Um, Uh, the the premium tier eight version of uh, of, this, uh, of the of the the well of the tier eight German cruiser. But why would someone who's going the other way want uh, to be in a division with me? Well, I'm not sure of it. But this is fun, I got it. Yeah, I got it too. I got pretty much every single um, premium ship. I, I think I, ha I don't have about three of them. Like, I don't actually own the um, uh, the Hindenburg. No, not the Hindenburg. The uh, Graf Zeppelin, of course. Because it was only for sale for a very short time. And I was like, nah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I really want to buy that ship. Um... So I waited for a bit, and then I was out of the shop because of the whole uh, uh, is it is this a good ship or not thing, and um, basically everyone just agreeing it was a very bad ship. Ouch! That was pretty quick. I don't have the Gremiashi, which I still regret to this day. I I should have gotten it when I um when I could. But back then it was still in um It was still in closed beta. So I, I should have gotten it then, but um, I didn't. And I'm sure I don't have a few of the other ships as well. Ooh, yeah, well, short range torps. Or at least two short. There's only one destroyer left, that's the Gallant. That's got eight kilometer torps, right? I've got the feeling that a, a very big part of their team is actually coming this way. So that means that our job is going to be trying to slow them down enough for the, uh, the other part of our team to sail around and um, I should probably use my first heal. And I should have used my um, smoke a little later. Let's focus on that ship. Ouch! It's crazy. I'm waiting for a kid. Yeah, but I only fire singles in Gallant. Me too. Gallant downside, it's, it needs its own captain. Yep. Well, that, that has been true of a lot of the premium ships. Like the Belfast came out before the British cruisers. Well, I should I should sail this ship later on again. Like, because it this was a bad game. Should play it more carefully. 
No smoke until quarter speed. Yeah, I know. It's just that I'm, I'm a little tired still. I had a late shift yesterday and I'm going to go back into a late shift tonight as well. So that's not going to work for me. Let's try the York again. Belfast can get by on off captain. Yeah, Belfast is, is an insane, insanely good ship, I think. Or at least it is in the hands of the right captain. Because if you just buy it and you think you're going to be great in it, because of its reputation, you are going to suck. That's as, as simple as it can be. Yay. Oh, thanks for the follow, man. So, you play on the uh, NA server or the EU server or Asian server, could be as well, or Russian server. You don't have the Atago, Tachi, and Smith. Okay, I do have the Atago, the Tachibana, Tashi, uh, and the Smith. Smith is great, by the way. If you ever want a fun little ship, Smith really is it. Um, by the way, I have accounts on both uh, servers, EU and NA. I'm playing on the EU at the moment because, you know, it is my main account. On the NA account, I'm... Um, more or less focusing on the American ships as well. Though I do play destroyers of every country on there. So my username, Dagonaut, you can uh, you can find that on the NA account as well and uh, send me a friend request. Sometimes I'm streaming from that account as well. I'm only at tier 4. I've got the um, Tier 4 Izhyslav, the uh, Russian destroyer. I've got the Tier 4 Phoenix, American cruiser, and I've got the Tier 4 German battleship. But I, in, in my show here, DD play after this. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really sure about that. I, I probably need a bathroom break before I do, though. After this game, I uh, I might I might have to go for uh, for for a little. <laughs> but um, I can show you destroyer gameplay, no problem. I don't have any tier tens yet. I'm. Uh, I'm someone who really likes the destroyer gameplay, but uh, I don't like the Japanese destroyers. Somehow. Ooh, Fiji. And King George. Sure. I probably shouldn't have sailed forward this much. But luckily this has got a, a pretty good turning circle, so I'm getting out of the out of harm's way again. No tier 10. You say Izzy is the second best uh, tier 4 destroyer. Which one do you think is the best? Because in my opinion, it is the best. You are my brother from another mother. <laughs>
Can't hit that one anymore. Clemson. Well, you, you might have a point there. I don't have the Clemson yet on my American account. I actually think the, the Clemson's artillery uh, rating is better than the the numbers they give it, if you understand what I mean. Because it, it doesn't really give, um, it, it doesn't really add a lot when, when the, the guns get doubled from a single barrel to double barreled. It's only, I think, a, a two or three point difference in the artillery rating, but it feels so much better. It feels like, uh, it, it doesn't feel like it's, it's actually um, doubled. The, the artillery rating. But it, it feels like it's more than a small difference, if you get what I mean. I might have to switch to HE soon. Is the only targeting of fire at is that King George over there? And even that is going to go out of range. But then again, I don't I don't get a lot of uh, a lot of ratings. Um, like sometimes the uh, um, the 155, I think it's 55 millimeters uh, guns get a lot lower rating than the 210, though you consistently do more damage in it, and that's just the guns themselves. So why is the rating so much different? It's it might be the firepower of the guns themselves, but the added value of having a much higher uh, firing rate, it just changes a lot. Not really doing a lot of damage, but at least I'm not using my hit uh, or losing my hit points really fast. It would be great if I get a little more um, assistance on this side. The whole team is just on the other uh, on the other flank. It doesn't look like they're coming this way anytime soon. And in the meantime, the King George is um, capping B. So yes, we are leading in ships, in number of ships. You know, we've got two kills; they've got three. But not really certain if we're leading um, tactically as well. Because it looks like he can just take B without being contested for it.
I was uh, very, very briefly thinking about getting in closer and using my uh, my torps, but that's not going to work here. You didn't get the memo? Everyone's supposed to go to the same site. No, I didn't get the memo. And then I actually don't get it because it's it's like a clock, you know. There there are two two hands of the clock, both going in, uh, in 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 the same direction and chasing each other, but they're never ever ever going to meet each other. And I think that is a very, ouch, very bad uh, and stupid tactic, to be honest. Now, if I can just put them on fire. Once more. Oh, he's he's out. Good, good. Finally, um, Fiji. I'm not going to be able to take him out, but I might be able to do some damage to him. Though with the Alabama over there. Run fire flags on York. Yeah, I'm, I'm not running those at the moment. I don't really have a lot as well. Ouch. Yeah, that was that. Maybe the next game I just should go to the same spot as the others, to the same side. Well, I'll be back in, uh, say, two minutes. I have to run to the bathroom quickly. So, um, but before I do, uh, NM Ocelots and Tix, welcome to the stream. Let me know if you guys play this game as well. If you do on the NA or in the EU server, I'll read it when I get back. Just give me a second. Oh, Tix, you're on Asia server. <laughs> no body breaks me in bottle. <laughs> Keep going. Hindenburg is worth it. I, I've heard that. I'm actually one of the, uh, one of uh, Nutter's. Uh, Nutter is pro probably one of the the more well known or maybe best known uh, YouTubers for this game. And he keeps on telling that uh, Hindenburg is probably the best tier 10 cruiser. So, and I like the looks of it as well. By the way, I have an Asian account as well on this. Uh, I don't have an Asian client installed on the PC at the moment, but I do have an Asian account. Um, about one and a half year ago, maybe two years ago, I was in uh, Nepal for some time, two times two weeks, and um, when I wanted to uh, just relax a little, I made sure I um, I played this on the Asia server. Oh, that's uh, uh, nice, 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 but not, not really something I need.
So, Mr. Wolf. Um, oh, I, I, I got a win on the on the Fiji. That's nice. Sixty thousand. I'm not going to research these because um, you know they do say you get one point extra on torpedoes, but it's like four hundred and something damage. I'm not not going to spend the twelve thousand experience on that because um, you know this one actually runs those torpedoes, so I don't really need to um, to get them now. It's DD time. Well. I did get a win on both my uh, main focus cruisers, to call it that, during the closed beta when uh, when I was sailing around. The Japanese cruisers were my favorite, um, but but I got into it in a in a very strange fashion. Um, it was basically um, the Japanese cruisers at that time had a tier one, two, three, four number five was missing and they had six so um, I played with one two three and four and then moved all the way to six right away I actually made it into tier seven Miyoko on the closed beta and um, around that time um, people were starting to blame me uh, for um, or to accuse me not blame me they started to accuse me of, uh, of uh, cheating because um, they said you you can't play that well in a cruiser, it's it's impossible. But a lot of people didn't actually realize that um, you know Miyoko and also the one uh, before that, the Aoba or the Auba, whichever you want to say, um, they have torpedoes. And a lot of the times I would just sail straight at battleships, and, and at that time people weren't as, as proficient as they are at the moment. Uh, we didn't have captain skills uh, in, in the way they are at the moment, so you didn't have lots of secondaries just firing at you. So it was safer getting close in a cruiser. I would just get really close and then I would just at some point act like I was feeling like it, it became dangerous and it started running away. Since the torpedoes are in the back of the ship, uh, with with both Miyoko and the Alba, um, I would be able to fire my torps at them. Um, and I can't tell you how many games I've just destroyed uh, higher tier battleships because they were, you know, they were taking the bait. They saw this cruiser running away from them, and they just ke kept on sailing. And I would make sure that I was sailing at say three quarters of my speed, so they could actually catch up. And then I would um, destroy them with the torps. That would be great fun. But now, it's not really my favorite cruiser anymore. Not sure why, but once I reach the Miyoko, well, I do have 20,000 experience sitting on it, but not much more. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Mr. Wolf, you see, I actually bought the Clemson on this, uh, on this account as well. Repurchased it, because um, my sons are also playing this game. Or at least my uh, my seven year old is playing this game a lot, and he's at tier uh, four with a lot of the uh, um, a lot of the ships. So I decided, you know what, I'll uh, I'll get some nice tier fours to play along with you. So. Anyway, um, let's see destroyer gameplay. Which one should I take? Oh, the Gnevni when it was around uh, when it was tier five, some uh, some years, well, not years, some patches ago. Um, that was great as well. You know, it, the turret rotation is very slow, but I would you would be able to sail around battleships and keep your guns pointing at it all from all different directions and just keep on firing it. Oh, you know, he could take you in Clemson. <laughs> Probably not then. I'll, um, let's see, to get acquainted with uh, the destroyers, let's start with a tier 6 first. I do need some camo. Uh, let's see, not going to use that one because, because reasons. 
I'll use that one. If you want to, um, the pod, 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 pod Foisky. Yeah, the, the the current tier five. Well, I'm I'm not there on my uh, NA account yet, and on this account, I never played the pod because, you know, it was added in between the tree, and and well. Never played it. Uh, I didn't play the Ognivoy as well. I played one or two games in it and I thought, well, that is so bad. I'm going to skip this. And I had enough free experience to go towards the then tier 7 Kiev right away. So I skipped the Ognivoy. But now it's actually a great destroyer. Oh, by the way, if you want to, I could switch to the NA account. And uh, we could uh, play some games together in, uh, in destroyers or cruisers or any ship, if you're willing to go to lower tiers. Oh, nice game setup. Nice. I actually like it now. I don't really like it. I actually love it. The Ognivoy. It's um, it's changed a lot since it was a tier six, and now it has very uh, good range torpedoes. You can actually play it as a torpedo boat. It's the only Russian destroyer you can play as a torpedo boat. It's it's fun. Uh, I'm not playing right now on the tablet, winding down to sleep. Yeah, if you're playing on the NA account, you're probably from the, U, uh, the US somewhere. Little Oi is good too. Yep. I might play that later. I was planning on, on playing a lot of the cruisers though. But... Um, do you guys also have it that... Um, um, some days you, you feel like you're playing, you want to play a certain ship, like battleships, and it just doesn't work for you. But then you switch to destroyers, and it works for you. And the other day, it's 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 the other way around. So I just tend to uh, to have those days. You know, I'm I'm planning on playing a lot of cruisers, and it just goes really bad. Then I switch to destroyers or battleships or even carriers, and somehow it it goes pretty well. Every time. <laughs> Starfire X. Or Starfire X. 2130. Welcome to the scene. Next year 10 will be gross. Looking to, forward to it. Yeah, I got the Udaloy and the, um, the other tier 9. Which one is that at the moment? That's the Tashkent. I love those. Though I was really proud of myself when I actually finally passed the Tashkent and went on towards the tier 9, when the Tashkent was still at tier 8. And then it got moved up to tier 9, and I, I felt like, you know, I have to play this again. <laughs> not that it's a bad ship, and not that I dreaded playing it again, but it, it just felt a little strange, if you get what I mean. If I slow down a little and now use my smoke, I can start firing at that destroyer over there. Oh, I do have to fire HE and not AP. AP is not going to work. If it's still at the same um, same spot, I'll hit it again. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's. I was gonna say it's bound to move. Come on, if you if you keep on standing still in the same spot, at some point you're going to get killed.
Okay, it's down. Sailed into a torp. That's never a good plan. Unless you're an enemy, then you're supposed to sail into torps, right? I'm detected. What is detecting me? What or who? Oh, that destroyer over there. The Anshan. Anshan was a great ship as well, by the way. And some fun in it. Um, some uh, some patches to go with, uh, with the uh, ranked battles. When it was all tier 6 or tier 5 and 6. I played the on channel a lot. This is not really a gunboat, but it, it does it does well. Well enough to perform as a gunboat. But it's not really a torque boat as well, you know, it's it's somewhere somewhere in between. Na, 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 na. What if I just go there? There's a lot of destroyers, I'm oh, sorry, a lot of battleships over there. And I might be able to do some uh, do some damage to them. And if I sail into the cap first, then pop smoke, I might be able to uh, to set the Queen Elizabeth and some of the other um, battleships over there on fire while capping. Please tell me you're running 150s. Yes, I am. I mean, it's it's just like sailing a cruiser. That's fun. What I do find though is that in the in the early stage of the game, it doesn't really make a difference which uh, which gun you're using. But at the later stages of the game, when there's um, well less ships just sailing around. And especially on cruisers, you can just load uh, armor piercing and and get citadels. That's fun. Yeah, I'm going to hit all of those against the. Uh, against the island, but here we go, this should be better. No, let's just fire some torps there and some over there. 
repair and keep on firing. I did feel like we were winning, but now they've got uh, both the A and the B cap. And that's a little strange. Okay, I might have a problem here. I'm not really sure yet. I just might. Well, this is, this is exactly what I was hoping... Ah, no, it's not exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> I just missed the range to, uh, to uh, hit the Koenig. If I just stop firing for a moment. Um, let's see, what can I do? Well, let's say I'm well, you know, we are we are still going pretty well. We're not doing the best we can, but we're we're doing okay. Anshan, is it going to be killed by the by the carrier, or should I go in and kill it? It's going to beach itself. Nice, 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 nice. Good, it's dead. Now, what if I just ignore that I'm being spotted and um, sail forward with the engine boost on and uh, try to torque these from closer by? I set it on fire. Nice. But then again, there's a lot of firing coming at me at the moment. Let's fire torps before I get killed. Well, I'm bound to hit some torpedoes there. Yes, he's going to be dead soon. No way he was going to save uh, to to do. Um, no way he was going to survive that. That was what I was going to say. Now I'll stop firing. So I get undetected. Now capping B. Thus securing our win.
is going to go out of range uh, soon if I... Oh, nice. Set an extra fire. You put it out. Let's see if I can set him on fire again. Have a good night. Gotta go. Well, <clears throat> see you later. Thanks for coming in. is very much occupied with others so I can safely get a lot closer maybe fire some torps and take him out you know what let's just use the uh, speed boost What? Are they seriously firing torpedoes in my direction? Well, that was a win. So what do you think of my Destroyer gameplay? <laughs> Captain Jack007, welcome to stream. You've got a parcel waiting for you. He, that's nice. Containers are some something that unites players and developers because the nerf cells of all people gener generally function the same way. Huh? Sure. Skipper on deck. That feeling when you release elite experience and a whole bunch of new skills, but everyone is still talking about radio location. <laughs> you need to attend my classes, but you're not bad. Okay, well, thank you very much for that uh, uh, observation. A second year in experience. Come on, that's not bad. <laughs> well, that's what you said, right? Not bad. Uh, so you actually do classes on uh, on destroyers. Wes Jensen, twenty three. Welcome to the stream. What did, what did I get for this? Or was was the batch just uh, the only thing I got? Launch date for the next season is unknown. Yeah, well, that's not really important. Here, items collected. Hunt for Bismarck. Failed that miserably. Two years. Congratulations. Uh, congratulatory monarch. Battle day delivery. Okay, well, going to have, um, was planning on it, have to ask clan first. You just need tweaking. Well, then, then I'm, I'm going to have to uh, 
to get into your clan as well. If I any account, that is. I got all these, but I, I didn't actually get all these. I probably should at some point. Uh, these I can, I think I can forget about. You know, I didn't actually get all of them. Oh, here it says what what we got. Got a few of those. Got a few of those. Got ten of those. Nice. 50,000 credits, well that's not really worth a lot, but um, it's better than nothing. Oh, we're actually at stage 3. Destroy 7 cruisers, hit the citadel of ships 15 times, must be completed in a random co-op or ranked battle. Drop me a line on NA, I'll do that, I'll make a, a note of it, because mental notes will not work at the moment. You know what, I'll just do it here. And sorry guys, I, I'm going to have to run to the bathroom again, uh, but I'll be back really soon. Um, it's just that, you know, when you're um, doing late shifts like I was, in the, in the early morning I'm waking up, I'm, I'm having uh, my vitamins, which I drink with um, about this, this much, a glass of water, about a quarter of a liter. Then I drink another half liter of water. And I also had some coffee. So um, that's a lot of fluids going in. And it just takes about an hour before that all gets into your system. But then it, it starts losing all of the fluids as well. So um, I'm going to have to run to the bathroom again. Um, in the meantime, um, let me know what ship you would like to see me play for the next round, and I'll, uh, um, <laughs> well, I'll certainly think about playing that ship. <laughs> I'm not going to promise you I'll play that. Uh, well, I might. I might. Why not? So, um, I got all the, well, most of the premium ships here. Um, I, I'm, I'm not really far with the, the British battleships. I might have to play those a little more. Uh, I do have the two Russian tier 9 destroyers. I've got the tier 6 cruiser, Russian. I'm not really far with uh, the, the Russian cruisers yet. Uh, not with the French as well. I do have the Missouri, the Enterprise, and the Alabama. North Carolina, Benson, Saipan. So I got two premium uh, American carriers. And then I got the regular tier 6 here. I got the tier 7 Japanese premium carrier. And the regular tier 6, Shiratsuyu. I'm going to have to play that more as well. I, I need to get that uh, Akatsuki, I think it is. The one with the 100 millimeter guns. I'm going to love that. So, um, spec your Kira for AA with manual AA. Well, I'll uh, I'll think about that. But I'm I'm going to run through the bathroom. But back in a few.
Uh, let's see. Shira is trash now. Sir, Shira Tsuya, I think. I hate Aki Kazuki. Well, the first clear sky in my Kirov with that setup. The Kirov, that, that's the regular tier 5 cruiser, right? The regular tier 5 Russian cruiser. I don't own that anymore. However, I do own the Molotov, which is a Kirov class cruiser. Well, sort of. Bearing a closer resemblance to the Kirov class cruisers. She was based on an improved design, Project 26 Bs. In contrast to her prototype, the cruiser received significantly reinforced armor while retaining extremely powerful artillery and high speed. So, can I post website link? Yes, you can, depending on what website you're posting. But you should be okay. Porter attack, welcome to the stream. And Tang7314, welcome to the stream. The Infidel85 and Wes Jansen23, all welcome to the stream. Sure. Uh. I'm not really sure what to play next. I don't I don't know. La Galicionaire. Oh why not? Why not? No, I'm going I'm going to have to play uh, the other two tier seven cruisers I still have, the regular ones. So let's start with the Pensacola. The Pepsi Cola. Assigned a commander, and my commander I think is on the Indianapolis. Wiredgaming.org, and you can send application in. Just say, I found you. I'm pretty sure that website. I'll open it now. <laughs> it says the site isn't available. That's strange. Indianapolis. I think it was this one, right? No, it's not. Was it this one then? Why did I put my Indianapolis, oh, sorry, my Pensacola captain on the Atlanta? No clue. Take out the dash. Okay. Wiregaming.org. Oh, that's your clan. World of Warships Division's second clan has continued to grow at an amazing rate. Keep it up. Teams in World of Warships will now focus on learning key defensive techniques. Meetings are now every sun every other Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Okay. I'll look into that uh, a lot more later. But that's your clan page, and I can uh, apply for a... Uh, for your clan as well. I'll do that. Thank you very much. But for now I'm going to sail the uh, Pensacle. I don't really like this ship. I have had great games in it, but most of them were just bad. And not just a little bad, but very, very bad. So is that an active clan, or um, uh, as in a, an active clan that does a lot of things together, or is it a clan that just play Pensacola like Big DD without torps? Yes, <laughs> I do play the, uh, the the Japanese cruisers like Big DDs uh, sometimes, and that's fun. That that works well as well.
Let's see. Uh, if maybe I can put my. Well, I shouldn't put the camera down too much because I see that there's something over here. Ah, that's that's the the sunlight reflecting on something. Yep. And it's making a, a, a pretty yellowish spot on my um, on my wall. I got a green wall behind me. I painted the whole wall green. That's better than a green screen. <laughs> it works a lot better, actually. But um, if, if the sun reflects on something, you know, this, this color is actually made with a lot of yellow. I've actually had the color uh, handmade. And now it's reflecting from somewhere, and I'm not sure where it comes from. It's... Okay, well, there's a cloud between the, the sun and the... Uh... We're prepping for clan stuff. We have a few, uh, not on all the time, but we play other games too. Yeah, I'm actually still part of a clan in... Um... Uh, in World of Tanks in um, on the EU server and um, I'm a recruit, uh, recruitment officer there but uh, it's not uh, not something I play a lot anymore it's more of a veteran gaming group as in veteran gamers or veterans that game It's a tier 9 game, so I'll, I'll have to play a little careful here. Oh, C is already being capped. Military vets that play games and shoot shit together. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Fletcher. Well, that might not have been your brightest moment, Mr. Fletcher. Because I just reloaded and just missed as well. Here we go. I think it's going to be around there somewhere. Nope, not around there. I do like the guns of the Pensacola though. It's um, First of all, there's it's a fun setup with uh, the triple guns on top of the double. I just think that's um, that's a fun setup, and I feel like they're pretty accurate as well. Plus, they're two hundred and three millimeter guns. They do quite a lot of damage. Ouch. USN cruiser with 203 AP, the shit mount of broadside BBs. Ow. Well, I'm not really a veteran myself. <laughs> My grandpa was, though. Okay, this is not going to be a very good game. 
right mouse button is your friend. I know. Well, I forget. <laughs> Sometimes. Ah, Charles Mortel. Here he is again. Um, right around there. I think. I'm not really sure. Okay, well, those were nice, right? I think I did well with that salvo. <laughs> I actually made it into one good game in one salvo. See that? <laughs> oh, hello, Rewind. You saw what my wife when she is playing. Well, my wife actually plays uh, World of Tanks. She doesn't play World of Warships. Um, because it's it's way too complicated, you know. There's there's several uh, systems like uh, main guns, torpedoes, secondary guns, um, and there's there's loads more options. And um, she says um, this is just a way too complicated game for her. Ow. I have <laughs> 9 and 10 tiers in World of Tanks. Yeah, me too. I got 1 tier 10 in World of Tanks and 3 tier 9s at the moment. Me and my wife helped new clan mates go up trees. Ah. I have to get my the dust off this screen at the moment. Just a sec. Mr. Doherty! Thank you for the follow. That one cell phone actually made it into a, uh, well, okay game. Not a good game, but an okay game. Three Citadels and one cell phone. That wasn't bad. But I have to be honest, I was playing a little too carelessly. Vet families count, and it's not re required to be a vet. Well, luckily. Otherwise, I couldn't join the clan. Um, so let's see. We still have one tier 7 cruiser to play. It's the one I dread to play at the moment, but let's do it. You can really play this as a, a, as a destroyer, you know, with, with torpedoes like this. Four triple 610 millimeter torpedo tubes, 10 kilometer range, and the concealment, uh, well, because I'm not, not using any normal camo, is at 11.6. And this captain, well, it does have the concealment skill, but... How do you get the... Uh... Battle of Zanzibar? I'm just wondering how to get the, uh, the achievements. You know these these in here. How do I get these? Purchasable for duplicates. Now that's nice, but how how how? Service record. Yeah, well, level fifteen. Wondering if these these others are ever going to be um, going to be done. Solo warrior. I think it's one of uh, some of those, you know, maybe new ones there. But um, I'm not really sure. I'll just keep on playing. I'm not not aiming for the collection at all. You're trying to get Liam Rue merits in Elite Dangerous at the moment. <laughs> I uh, last night I was playing Elite Dangerous. Um.
fucking boring? You didn't, don't really know how to get those. Well, um, how to get merit? Uh, the the funny, the best way to do it is actually um, do undermining. Um, I did some in one of the last videos I did. I think one of my videos is going to be published today, in which I actually do some undermining. So you go into a control system from one of the other powers, and you start killing their faction oriented ships and you get merits for that make sure you don't get killed yourself because it will reset to zero and then you go back to your control system and you deliver the uh, the merits or the vouchers and that is a nicer way to get merits than uh, just uh, 30 merits a ship right yes that is true and you'll be working on your combat uh, as well The event starts at the 15th. Yeah, that's going to be tomorrow, which is my father's birthday, by the way. They're doing some of the collections now. Um, you go to contacts, and then power contacts, and it says something like uh, claim all vouchers, something like that. Hmm. Redre redeem all vouchers, maybe? You can see on the left screen uh, with transactions whether or not there is a um, there's actually some merits sitting there. Because if you don't have any, you can't uh, claim them as well. Looks like the Mahan is um, AFK for the time being. But then again, this Benson is going to go for B. So I'll provide some fire support from, uh, from further away. If you want, you can whisper me your NA name so I can find it later. Well, it's the same as this, as this one. So um, you might not be able to tell, but... No, you don't have to deliver them to Sirius, you have to deliver them to um, uh, a controlled system. Here, my, my username isn't really um, a secret, so um, that is my username both on, on the EU account, as on the Asia account, as on the NA account. I took some serious franchise packages. Oh, that! I don't have any idea what to do with these. Um, I have never actually tried to, to rank with uh, Leon Rui. So I wouldn't know. But you can you can see what to do with them in the, uh, in the power play um, menu. Ooh, those were close. I missed them, but they were close. Ah, uh, but the Benson is going to get killed very soon. Yes, that was the Benson. You sure we've never been in battle before? Name looks familiar. It could be. It could be. I have played... Um, I don't know how many games I've played on the uh, on the NA server. Not as much as I played here, of course. But I've played quite some games. I've, I've tried several lines. I actually own a, um, a, a Sharnhorst as well on the um, NA account. Oh! I might have to do something about this destroyer here. Hmm. 
Mm, let's see. Of course I'm going to get hit. That wasn't... Uh... Ow! Come on! <laughs> that was just bad. Uh, Sean is Goober's favorite. Goober? Who's Goober? Simon, welcome to the stream. This was a very bad game. It could have been great, you know. If 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 I got lucky with killing that destroyer, I might have been able to go towards the Byron and kill him as well. That could have been great, but it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Goober girl is my wife. Yeah, well, I I decided to get the Sharnhorst on that account because I thought it would be a great ship. Then I thought, you know, I, I actually found out how great it was. I decided not to get it on this account because, you know, I don't, I didn't really have the money for it. And you see it here, it's on this account as well. So, yeah, I did that. It's a little strange though, the, the Gneisnow, I really like the, the Gneisnow, this one, but it's uh, historically incorrect. It was planned to receive these uh, these turrets, and uh, the old ones were already taken out, but um, these were never, never ever actually added. Oh, Rewime, I'll be in um, uh, play. I'll be streaming Elite Dangerous tomorrow morning, um, around the same time as now. So if if you're available, then I can I can probably look at it and and help you with that. Then it won't help you a lot now, but as you can see, I'm busy with another game at the moment. So any requests, guys? There's uh, 18 people watching at the moment. Any requests for any ship? Just let me know. Had a bad game in a Pensacola, so I might have to I might have to play that again. Though I'm not really sure if I want to to keep on playing the American ships. I'm not sure if the the New Orleans is actually um, going to be an improvement for me. That is. I've heard that the Baltimore is is great, great fun, and a very good ship. But I'm not sure about it. I've never played it on the um, on a test server or something like that. I played a lot of tier tens on a test server, but never the American cruisers. Hmm. Yes, get New Orleans. Okay, why? Can you tell me what is what is so good about that? Not that I'm doubting your um, uh, what you say about that, but you know, it's more like enlighten me. Double conceal New Orleans gets nine point one detect with nine kilometer radar. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds really good, actually. I really don't have a clue how to get this, the, the other two. By the way. Forty-nine percent victory. Oh, the, this has been better. This has been better. But let's see. This is all season. Oh, the drank battle. Yeah, sure. Here, random battles. Come on, load. Yes, load. Thank you. Fifty percent. That's not too bad. It's it's not very good, but it's not really bad as well. <coughs> you will scatter living shit out of the DDs. If you only shoot when detected. Okay. That sounds good. 
co-op battle. 96% victory. I'll never get that up to 100%, of course, but it would be nice. I play a lot of co-op battles with my uh, with my kids, especially the youngest uh, uh, the youngest two that play the game. You know, my three year old doesn't play the game yet. Of course, he's a little too young to be playing uh, a game like this. Um, but my five year old and my seven year old play the game, and the seven year old actually does really well. He's uh, he's a natural on uh, on games like this. He actually just got himself the uh, Tier 4 American Battleship, the uh, Wyoming. Now he really loves that. And he got the Wyoming because he wanted to get the um, um, the carriers. In New Orleans it's like playing Indianapolis. Bow onto cruisers and BBs, you angle a bit. Cruisers can't pan battle. Okay. Nagi Sai, welcome to the stream. Let's see. Schneiderrache. I think that's German. Or at least it, it it's, looks like it. Herzlich willkommen. <coughs> and the other names I see there uh, were on there already. You know, let's let's stay at the back for now, you know, for just just for once. I'll uh, I'll I'll act like I'm a responsible and careful player. The Moines is nuts. Yeah, I heard that. Nuts in a good way, as in nuts and. Great. I just love the way this game looks, by the way. It really is a beautiful looking game. Missouri. I'm gonna follow him. Don't get too close to his guns though, because a six second reload with a 203. Yeah. It's got big guns. It's got, well, you know, it's got nine of them, so it's not, not just a few. I think I'm going to stick with this group. Turpitz, Verone, Missouri, and a mass up there. Sometime when I can get in a voice calm with you, I can go over stuff. Okay. Sounds like a plan. It's just easier for me than typing. Well, you're you're doing great typing. You know, my main game that I stream is uh, Elite Dangerous. It used to be World of Warships, but now it's Elite Dangerous, and uh, uh, just the other day, uh, I think it was two days ago, I was streaming World of Warships. Sorry, Elite Dangerous, and. Um, I saw someone else uh, uh, on Twitch who said it was his first. It was his first time ever playing that game. So I decided to do a Twitch raid on him when I when I stopped my stream. And I was continuously typing to 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 tell him things about that game as well. It's a tablet. Well, in that case, you're really doing a great job there. You already told me it was a tablet, right? Ooh, I started a fire. It's already out, but I did start a fire on the on a destroyer. It's 
just sad that the Pensacola has, uh, has a very bad gun range compared to a lot of other ships. Though I might be able to hit this. It would have been so great if I had AP loaded. Okay, and now he's out of range again. Faster because I'm not in bed. <laughs> that's one thing I like about my clan. You can ask anyone anything. Yeah, that's that's one of the things I like with um, gaming and streaming in general. Just um, being able to uh, to talk a lot uh, to people and to help new players out. That is really what I like to do. All US Navy uh, light cruisers and CA. That is a heavier cruiser, like right? Uh, right? Or CA is carriers? I don't know. Worst range and shortest AA range. It's me, Derpy, who Webdorf says, Hey, I found a mobile game that's a lot like World of Warships. Now, well, they're actually in the process of, um, of developing uh, World of Warships mobile. So it could actually be World of Warships. Hmm. I did hit him, but one shattered and one bounced so that's not good enough and now he's shooting at me so let's start turning great that's my second fire Third fire! Yay! That's not bad! Already have three fires. But they all put out the fire, so if I can get them back on fire, that would be great. Because then it would stick for a, a longer period of time. Bummer, he's not spotted anymore. I was so hoping he would be spotted a lot. Oh, there he is again. Oh, come on. I can't hit him anymore. He's behind the island. Bummer. Can I hit him? Nope. Can I hit him? Nope. He's out of range. Can I hit the Iowa? Yes, I can. Good. Well, at least I could fire at him. I didn't. Oh, I actually hit him as well. Looks like I'm going to get to have to get out of here. Well, that was actually great shooting. They all landed in a superstructure. It's just a little sad that I didn't get another fire. Yay. 
Brolin SP, thanks for the follow. Oh, he's on fire. Well, it's actually going uh, pretty well for a change in the Pensacola. 26,000 damage done. I've only lost 5,000 hit points myself. That's not bad. Ooh, Miss Mark. Five shatters. Ow! I just said that, you know, it was going pretty okay. I didn't lose many hit points yet. <laughs> well, that's done. I'm glad I still did more damage to them than they did to me, but um, there's no target in range at the moment, but that also means I'm not being spotted anymore. So, 31,000 damage done. Whew. It's getting dark here, by the way. I might have to switch on the light. Just a lot of clouds in front of the sun at the moment. Let's see, any new? Uh, Aka22, that's a new name. I haven't seen you in here before. Sounds like an interesting game, but uh, <laughs> I really, I really, really, really shouldn't start on mobile games as well. You know, I do have some other things I need to be doing with my time. And if I get into mobile games, I probably won't do anything else anymore. <laughs> Not bad. 22,000. Uh, or, sorry, 2200 damage. Donsko is behind the, the mountain. Can I, can I hit him? Let's see. Is he laying still? No, he's sailing. So if he's sailing, I should aim there and I will hit the mountains. Or the island. Ha! Huh. I was hoping for something like that, because it might mean I actually get the kill on the Iowa. And yes, I did! I'm the best player ever! <laughs> Not really, but, you know, it's always nice when something like that happens. And here we go, it's a win! 
Loco Genocide is following. Welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. I'm going to switch on light because it's getting really dark here. You know what? I could also just do this. Uh, just a sec. No, it might take some time before the uh, before the the camera um, gets the the green screen correct again. You can see it's uh, it's slightly different now, but um, this is not bad. I'm I'm glad with this, and I actually got two others. Did you learn to do that in ranked battles? Um, nope. Well, I might. I'm not sure. A uh, feeling where you release elite experience. I got that one already. Let the sun shine, let the birds and the bees... Well, I don't know anything about birds and bees. Uh, five kids. Back to port. Here we go. Let's see. Um, what do we have now? Collections. Do we have a new one? Don't think so. Do we have doubles then? Duplicates. Zero. No. I thought I just got two. But um, they don't show. Struggle of darkness and light. Mm. Well, probably not. Five. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Never. Uh, better not go there. Mm. Well. There are four pages on the new collections. Yeah, and I didn't get any. Are there subs in World of Warships? Nope. They have one at some point, but it was just in the port, and you couldn't you couldn't actually sail it. Um. Well, let's see. Now we got a win on the Pensacola. I probably still need to get a win on the on the Miyoko. So let's try to get that. Wow, the clouds are, the clouds are dark as well. We actually had a storm yesterday, but it wasn't anything like the storms that were in the in the Caribbean and the US. But still, since I work at the Dutch railroads, we had uh, well, we first had a few weeks of lots of rain, and then um, later on, uh, well, yesterday there was a lot of wind going on, so um, it was. Um, it was strange because a lot of the trees were just falling over because this, the, 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 the soil was so wet that the trees didn't have any grip anymore because they, were, they weren't in the ground, they were in mud. And then the, the wind was, uh, was blowing and there was uh, there's still a lot of leaves on the, on the trees so the, the wind actually has a lot of grip on the trees and the trees would just fall over. Um, and some of them of course fell over on the tracks, it took the um, the electricity lines with them that are on, on uh, above the tracks and we had quite a problem with uh, the trains yesterday. There are ninjas, the subs you're talking about. Well, did, did one of you ever play um, uh, Silent Hunter? I played number three and four, or two, three, and four, actually, at some point. Fagwent, welcome back to the stream. Steel Ocean does that too.
Oh, shut up with your I need intelligence data. You have to be intelligent to know what to do with the intelligence data, but I'm, I'm quite sure there's a destroyer down there. Right? Or do they have British cruisers? No, they don't have British cruisers. So it's, it is a destroyer down there somewhere. <laughs> Don't get me started on Silent Hunter. Okay. I won't. Something tells me you're going to talk about it anyway. No, 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 no. It looks almost like there's a, uh, a, a running um, a, a running commercial going on with uh, "It's Me Der Behoof Web Dork." I will be gone for months playing Silent Hunter. Um, Mr. Wolf, you do know that you could actually speed up the time in Silent Hunter. Missions that took months in real life don't have to take months in the game. You, you did realize that, right? Okay, going to fire this cell phone into his side and then turn because I don't want to show broadside to the others. Ooh, Shores is already out. How unfortunate for him. <laughs> I've been playing it for months. <laughs> Multiple games. I know, I was just pulling your leg, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've played it oh, as well for a very, very, very long time. Um, but the thing is, um, I have done some great, great games in uh, Silent Hunter. I think in, um, in Silent Hunter 4, in Wolves of the Pacific, no, not Wolves of the Pacific, because that was the expansion, right? But Silent Hunter 4, with the American destroyer... Oh, sorry, the American... Um, the American uh, uh, subs. At some point, I actually got into a... Um, into a, a, a Japanese harbor, where there was... Um, two battleships around there. A carrier and a few cruisers, and I actually sank one carrier and two cruisers. Sorry, uh, one carrier, um, two battleships, and I think I sank a cruiser as well. And I got out without any problem. It was uh, it was tricky, but then I, I didn't actually get the amount of experience I thought I would get because I would I didn't actually get the the mission objective done. I was like, yeah, well, sorry. Sank two battleships, sank a carrier, sank a cruiser. I think I should earn a little more there. But no, it wouldn't give me more. C 
Come on, this is a very slow ship. I need it to go back now. Come on. Uh, and it started raining. Although I have to get on my bicycle later on to cycle to the train station to get to work. I hope it's not raining then, but um, well, we'll have to see. So, but it's me, uh, Derpy Hoof Web Dork. Um, are you here for uh, for this gameplay, or are you here to uh, to talk about another game? Just curious. Because it looks like you're not really interested in the game I'm streaming at the moment. I'm watching and talking. Yeah, but you're just talking about the game you found, and um, I'm not not saying that I think it's annoying or something like that. But it's just I'm, I'm wondering why. <laughs> How I many do you play this game as well? World of Warships. You did become a follower. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think those shells are going to miss. He said he had tier 5s. Well, I, I, I saw a lot going on in the chat, so I might not have read every single um, every single message. Never played World of Warships, but you do play World of Tanks, I think it is. W O T C. World of Tanks console, okay. So on your on your mobile phone. Or tablet or anything like that. Well, I don't don't think this is actually a bad game, right? It's going pretty well. And I might actually get the kill. Yes, I did. And start a fire, but that was um that wasn't really necessary anymore. 200 hit points and starting a fire, that's just a little, little strange. No, let's see if I can start a fire on him. Nope, that was too much lead. But it looks like he's sailing almost, or no, it's actually a perfect broadside now. So let's see if we can hit something there. Oh, and a Pensacola. Looks like he's AFK. Yes, he is. No citadels. 
I would have expected some citadels. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Am I still going to break free from this island? I think it is. Man, these islands always getting in the way. I mean... I totally agree with Notzer who says that you can... That, that the islands actually have to be nerfed. You know? I'm not doing a lot of damage, but still, it's, uh, it's uh, well, more or less okay. Oh, bummer. See, that's what I'm talking about. Islands have to be nerfed. Though, uh, I don't mean that the ocean map should be drawn a lot more often. That's not what I'm saying. Just to be clear. out. Good. Was that a nude beach? Um... Could be. I didn't actually check. I was too busy uh, sailing my ship. Lucky S15, welcome to the stream. And no other names there. Well, I'm actually getting into a. Um... into a decent game at the moment, you know, doing doing quite well on the damage part. If I can start a fire on the Missouri again, that would be great. Or just kill it with HE. Yes, fire started. Good. And now I'm running into another island. Yes, sure. Why not? And I killed a Missouri again. A Missouri killer here. Yes. <laughs> I'm really bad at sailing at the moment, right? I'm actually having a good game in the in the in Miyoko for the first time in a very 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 long time. I'm actually having a good game in the Miyoko, but I keep on sailing into islands. Come on, a third time in a row. Oh sure, and I'm hitting the island.
No, 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 no. I have to get out because he's firing at me. Luckily, he's firing HE. Oh! Oh! That wasn't bad! I do I like nude beaches? No, I don't. I don't at all. Look what we have here. You like those fancy chips? Well, once you can you earn this emblem, everybody is going to know it. You okay with that, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, like a pro, did you learn that in ranked battles? I got that already. You've got a parcel waiting for you. Well, and skipper on that. Got feeling. Oh well, got got these two. I well, these three I already had, and this one I didn't. So oh, correct. We actually got two kills. Not bad. Three kills, actually. Not bad. <laughs> the Monarch, Misor uh, Missouri, M Misery, and uh, Colorado. But only 10,000 damage received, so not bad. Actually, pretty satisfied with that. 30,000 experience. How far do I have to get to to, to go? Uh, I'll, uh, another 79,000. So it's going to take a while. Collect a container. Let's do that. More signals and camouflages. There we go. Open. Yay, I like these. I like those a lot. But now it does say that I have something in my profile that happens. Collections. So I think I have a new one around here. Ooh. So I just have one to go for the um, Z23 um, camo. Though it, it'll take quite some time before I get up to the Z23. Many players remember our pioneering effort to add some really exotic and distinctive content to the game. It took a couple of tweaks and the addition of the Oh my god, I don't want to see it anymore feature. But now the game incorporates flexible mechanics to add future content. Now there is no boundary to limit the developer's imagination. Whether it's a good thing or not, we'll have to see, right? Whether you liked the, cru the cuties or simply wanted to grab your copy of IJN ship for free, you'll never forget those days. I will never forget them. How can I? I've got the ARP Ashigara. Um, and my uh, my kids actually like these. Especially my, my daughter likes likes these two a lot. Well, not this one, but this one. You know, it's, it's pink. It's pink. It, ca it can't be any better. It's pink. I want to see a Torp Heavy Cruiser Kitakami is gone. Yes. Now that was that was something. And I have the ARP Congo, which is um, I think this is this is probably the best looking of all those with the, the black. Well this one is a, is a little too bright for me. This one is yellow. And uh, this one, well, my daughter likes this one as well because it you know it's pink. Pink. So, um, yeah, she likes those. I don't. But then again, it was fun getting them. I was aiming for the Takao, and I didn't, didn't actually get around to, uh, to getting that at some point. So, anyway, um, I've won a game with all my Tier 7 cruisers. So what, what next? Should I get on with the Tier 6 cruisers, or... Those are bright chips. <laughs> you have three Congos. I've got four. Four. I've got the... Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce them. But um, I've got the uh, Congo. The Kirishima. The Haruna. And the Hiai. I think. I'm not sure. 
Enterprise. Well, we could do an Enterprise game. These are the voyages of the well, aircraft carrier Enterprise. It's continuing mission to boldly go where no carrier has gone before. I'm probably I'm not going to play long, by the way. I'm, I'm, this might be my last or second to last battle because uh, in about one and a half hour I'm, I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to have to get to work, and I do have to do some th things around the house. I have to get lunch, I have to get to make sure I actually take my uh, dinner with me. Um, I have to get changed into my uniform, and things like that. Holy crap, that's a lot of planes. Well, that's not... Uh, it's not as much as, as it is uh, as possible. Um, there's still more planes below the decks. But you can't control all the planes at the same time, you know? In reality, the, you would be able to launch all your planes at the same time. GZ test 1. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. It is the um, Graf Zeppelin. Should I just try and, and take that out as soon as I can? No, it's not possible to launch them all at once. I've got six uh, plane groups, as you can see. Um, four of them consist of six planes and two of them of five. So that's 24 plus 10 is 34 planes in the sky at the same moment. Um, on top of that, you can only... You can only really um, control them in groups. It's not like you, you can order um, single planes around, you know. I see that the, the bulk of the team is going this way. And just a few ships are going that way. So, you know what, let's go into the map and plot my own course over there. I just like this. This is this combination is so unbelievably strong. I've actually had several instances in which uh, there was a, a um, well, a battleship just sailing out by itself, so no covering cruisers or anything like that. So it, it actually didn't really help. Oh. It didn't really uh, help him to um, to do it like that, but then again, it was their choice to uh, to sail out by themselves, and um, it was I think it was a Tirpitz and a Gneisenau. I had it twice that I I killed them in one strike. Just it was the first strike I did in the game. I killed them right away. That was luck as well, but also just brutal. Oh, here we go. Number three, you go here. And number two, go here as well. Um, if we do it like that, will that work? I think it will. Oh, you know what? We'll uh, use group 3 for that. I think that was, uh, that was good enough. Now let's uh, help group 2. 10 plays taken out so far. 11 taken out so far. 
12, 13, 14, 15. Good. Number two misses a few planes, so I'll, I'll send those back first. And I'll have group three go up there. In the meantime, let's find a target for this. It looks like that Sean horse over there is sailing dangerously far away from the support of his team. Um, oh, two, two was going to go back. Three, I need to go here. Let's see. I could go for a turpitz as well. Uh, Sharnors is probably a better target. I'm not really good at manual drops yet, so I'm just going to do it like this. This might actually kill the Sharnhorst because it's already hit pretty badly. Yep, that was that. I didn't do a lot of damage to it myself, but still, it worked. It worked well. Uh, group 2 is ready, so we'll send that one out. We'll send Group 3 back to recharge or reload the, the guns. And at the same time, I'll send my carrier out this way to follow the bulk of my team. I'm not positive, but Anvil is the stacks or where heaviest armor is. I'm not sure where, what this is about. You know, it's the CVN6 setup on Enterprise, right? Battle station specific. Pick a ship that's nothing but torps. Well, these are, are not just torps, they're torps. And they're um, bombs. Armor piercing bombs, to be exactly, to be more precise, I mean. Nope. Not going to work, happen like that. Not going to happen like this. It would be great if I could somehow catch these guys in a strafing run. Well, two of them taken out in one go. Group three, get out here. Group five is ready. Good. Group 3, go here. Group 2, go here as well, if you have the time. And then, let's see, what's here? Atlanta. Hmm. Atlanta is not really a target I should be going for with my planes. Though I could get, kill it in one go, but then again, you know, it is an, an anti-aircraft um, ship. Oh, Leander. You know what? We'll focus on the Leander. He's capping. We can't let that happen. Two, go back. Yeah, I only got two in a strafe because he strafed me at the same time, yeah. I think he's going to be out sooner than I can actually attack him. So let's focus on the next one. And I think the Turpitz is a, is a nice target. 
If I do it like this, he's not going to be able to uh, to get around it. But if I take out this ship, nah, this this is a nicer one. This is a much nicer target. I'm going to take out the, or at least attack the turbots. Here we go. See, that was one armor-piercing bomb. That was another two. That was a very good hit. And if I get a little lucky with my torps... One, two torps. Ah, just two torps hit. Bummer. That was that was sad. <laughs> but still, it was a nice uh, nice attack. Let's see. Where's group three? Where's group two? Get here! Come on, quick. Okay, group three is destroyed. Let's keep my fighters out here then. That's Nuremberg gone, or at least almost gone. You're not cross dropping correctly, I know. I know. I'm not one of the best carrier players. However, I tend to do okay, so I'm uh, I'm okay with that myself as well. RGS dot eighty two twelve. Thanks for the follow, man. D three X Elias or Alias. Welcome to the stream. And Untitled Enigma. Welcome to the stream as well. Six and seven get here, and then four and five after you're done as well, as soon as you can come. And I think the turbots might be out before. Um, you know what? Let's uh, start. I'll, I'll have to kill them first. I'll have to find their carrier at some point. The Turpus is not going to survive, I think. You know what? You just kill that. I'm curious where uh, where his uh, his carrier is, but I guess I'm going to find out soon. Ah, there it is. Found it.
Ooh. While he's laying still. So I'm going to have to try this differently. Because of his um, defensive fire, I'm actually not dropping the torpedoes as well as I could. But still, a flooding and... Um, well, he just repaired that. Bummer. But uh, that was to be expected. Hello, sir. Hey, Nick. Hello, welcome. It's a little sad. It's not. Um, it's not flooding anymore. Otherwise, I would have gotten the kill. How are you? Good excuse to miss some work, all. <laughs> I'm doing good, thank you. Combat missions, yay. Incapacitate or destroy 250 modules on an enemy ship. Well, I'm quite, quite satisfied with this game. 41 planes, sh uh, 41 planes shot down. So I probably took um, took out quite a um, quite a bit of the uh, of the enemy cruisers' uh, attack potential. Thirty nine planes, yeah. So I only took out 18 dive bombers and most of them were fighters. Well, let's see. I <laughs> see you kicking butt again, Sam. Feel sorry for the enemies. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes I just get lucky. And I think in this game, I did get a little lucky with the uh, attack on the turpits. And, um... But then again, it was a great game as well. It was, it was just fun. I just like this ship. Um, let's see... I think it's time for me to shut down, guys, and um, play pod next. Okay, one, one, one more. Pod, as in Podvoisky, right? Do I have that fully upgraded? Yes, I do. I've never played this before. Um, let's see, should I mount some of these on it? Probably. Main battery modification 2. This one is one of the one of the Russian destroyers with the slow turrets, right? Twenty-two and a half. Well, it is slow, but it's not that slow. Two tier eights, rest lower tier. Well, it's not that bad then. <laughs> How would you set it up, um, Mr. Wolf? This one, or that one? I mean, this one is totally illogic. Shouldn't um, shouldn't get that. I will we'll put some um, let's see some flags on it. I think I'm going to put that one on and this one. I don't want to explode. 
but I'll use the uh, the the other one for that. It's slow because the guns don't track. Aiming system better for Russian ships. Oh, here. It's already one of its strong points, the maneuverability and how quick it goes. So let's uh, improve that even more. And let's get a free XP bonus thingy. I'm going to use this camo. So I'm planning on getting close to the enemy. One in priority targets, two points last stand. Uh, I'd go that, that way as well. Though this one might be a good plan as well. But um, maybe not for now. So, and on the modules, guys. Um, I think I'm thinking about doing this, the magazine modification, because I don't want to detonate. How far is 200, 2800 meters for kilometers? Well, it's 2.8 kilometers. So I'm going to put the magazine the, uh, modification on that. But what should I do? Main battery modification. Two or aim systems modification. Main armament one. Well, I just got this one. <laughs> propulsion or steering. I'll get the propulsion one. Aiming. Good. Get that one too. Now, guys, this is going to be my last game, so uh, I hope I'm not going to uh, to destroy myself. Well, luckily, the rain has uh, has slowed down a little outside, so um, I might not get soaked on the bike. Now, in secondary battery range, that's not far at all. But then again, in World of Warships, the Battleship with the worst secondary gun. Um, I think should be the Mikasa, the tier 2. Japanese battleship, premium one. And that's 4 kilometers, I think. But um, the 2.8 could, uh, could be one of the, the AA guns, the anti-aircraft guns. And since they're firing straight up in the sky, it's not that strange that they're only firing... Um, 2.8. Has it 5 kilometer torps? I think it's got 4 kilometer torps. Yep, 4. 4. I'm going for D. Mikasa is fun as hell. Yeah, I actually don't use... <laughs> I don't use the main guns a lot of the time. I ju I'll just sail into one straight line. Most of the time I, I'll play it in... Um, in co-op co uh, battles, though. Um, when my kids are playing Tier 2s, so I'll, I'll just get into Mikasa and sail along with them. And that is fun. I just sail uh, sail it straight into a group of ships, and I'll, I'll just have my secondaries... Uh, well, just fire in all different directions. Forty three point nine knots without the speed boost. 44.1! That's not bad. That's pretty quick, actually. I'm going to go for that um, that island here because I'll be able to uh, to hide behind the corner.
wasn't sure it was four or five. They changed some. Yeah, the the lower tiers now have five kilometer um, range. There is something in here. What would it be? For Ataka, Graf Spey. It's not the Graf Spey that's in here, so it should be, yeah, there it is, T22. Detected. Not with, um, with sonar. I'm not detected because of the. Uh, well, I'm detected because of the range, of course. Yeehaw! He's on fire. Now, I just like to play high risk games, you know. I don't think low risk is fun. Though I missed the T22, that might be a problem. No, I wasn't. Oh! <laughs> it's taken out. Great. That's fun. Yeah, I was playing it way too aggressively. Your aiming is good now. <laughs> well, thank you. My aiming should be okay. But, um, let's see. Oh, the time is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 12, 34 here. So it's uh, probably time for me to shut down, get some lunch done, uh, get into my uniform, do some chores around the house, and then get off to work. Um, starting next month, by the way, I'll be streaming a lot more since I'll be working less. So uh, that's great. At least for me it is. And also for the wife and kids who are now not seeing a lot of me because uh, my job actually takes me from home at around, well, around 50 hours a week. So, um, well, that's going to be great. So thanks all for watching. I hope to see you next time. Next time will be tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, around the same time, I'll be streaming uh, Elite Dangerous. Um, Elite Dangerous is a very different game, but you know, if you've never played it, I welcome you to come and join me and uh, watch a game that you don't know. If you do know, well, come in and uh, give me some tips and tricks. I'll be streaming from my uh, Rags to Riches account, which is an account in which I started at zero and have been streaming every single minute of progress on it. So um, I'll, be, um, I'll be streaming that tomorrow. So I hope to see you there. Have a great day all and uh, well, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this as well. Um, make sure to take a look at my YouTube channel. There is some World of Warships gameplay on it, though it's, uh, it's very old. 
all of it uh, that's on there. This stream will be on there um, somewhere in the near future. Might be tomorrow. I'm not really sure about that. We'll have to see. And, um, well, have a great day. So that was it. That was me rambling on about uh, stopping. So it might be a good plan to actually stop now as well. I'm getting a little... Um, a little lightheaded as well, so I really need to get my lunch done. So thanks again, uh, Nix. It was great to, uh, to to have you around. I might be uh, playing some World of Wars, uh, sorry, World of Tanks tonight, but that might be in about 12 hours from now. So if you're online around then, I might see you in the clan, and if not, well, that's still okay. Um, have a great day, all.